Now, the reason that being is, I'll go back over here and show you in the piston. So, I know for a fact that in every engine that we do, that in between 45 and 50 is always a good general number. Piston being 50, uh, 50 in the hole really doesn't matter what that number is. That's just kind of something uh, that's giving you a, as an antidote of what's going on there. But valve the piston clearance doesn't matter where the piston is at. Valve the piston clearance. This thing is always going to be good in that 45 to 50 range on the intake side. Now, so we know that the camshaft and all the parts are basically retarding themselves. They're being latent. They're behind. Okay. Which also means that the reason why we need more exhaust valve clearance, like to see 80 at minimum, usually like to see 90 to 100 would be fine, is because everything's behind. Well, remember, the exhaust valve gets closer as it is, um, see, as, it's, as everything slows down and retards, the exhaust valve timing retards and gets closer to the piston. That's why we need more valve to piston clearance there. So the exhaust is pretty easy, just like to see 80, uh, 90. You can go a little bit more because typically there's never a problem with the valve pocket design in the exhaust side. Really rare. So more clearance really doesn't matter on here. What's the reason why? Okay, so we don't want. Uh, so screw it. Let's just put a hundred thousandths clearance here on the intake side. Okay, well, do that. You notice that intake valve pocket and how it comes down into that top ring land? The reason why we spent so much time in NHRA Pro Stock and why I spend so much time trying to make things correct is that making power is not the problem. I've said that a hundred times. I'll say it a hundred times more in all these videos. Making power is not the problem. Making things live is. Okay. So as I add valve, unnecessary valve to piston clearance, where do I need to add it at? Well, I just have to cut this valve pocket deeper. What happens when I cut that valve pocket deeper? It gets closer to this ring land. What happens when that valve pocket gets closer to this ring land? It makes a thin, thinner area right through here that is real prone to breaking and getting picked up in big horsepower applications. Okay, that is the reason why we want to run as little valve to piston clearance on the intake as we can safely run, not adding a bunch of clearance into the piston because we make the piston weak. That is the problem with adding lots of valve to piston clearance. So it, you don't need any more than 50 for sure. And you can run less than that, I know you can, but just giving you a nice, safe, easy number, 45 to 50, I know that works all the time. We do it all the time on every engine. Sometimes they'll have more, sometimes uh, different combustion chambers, different head designs will allow to have a shallower pocket. And that's fine, that's all cool. You, you can run more valve to piston clearance there, but in these kind of applications, like even on my SMX or anything that has a canned valve, anything that actually has a wedge valve, uh, outside of some of the Hemi stuff, just because they have a different pin height, um, we need to add, drop that ring land down. I mean, there's, there's lots of math going on in here of what we're allowed to do and what we can do to make things live and be strong. But remember, this is my whole point. Too much valve to piston clearance unnecessarily makes piston weak. Weaker. Not weak per se, but it does make it weaker. So, what we like to see in these is we like to see 45 to 50 on the intake. Nice, easy, safe number. Remember, everything is retarding itself. That's why it actually adds more to it like to see 80 to 90 and can be more because it's really not a big deal on the exhaust it's not making the piston weaker by having a deeper pocket 90 percent of the time especially in anything like these um chevrolets and some ls's will be into the pocket big block chevrolets smx's the valve seat is pretty high up in the combustion chamber big chamber and uh, the exhaust valve usually never you can see there's no pocket in here at all because it doesn't even need one so uh but lots of clearance there that's fine, you're not making a weak piston, but that piston can get weak if you have too much clearance on your intake. So, that's a good rundown on valve to piston clearance, what numbers you'd like to see, why you wanna see it, and how the dynamics are all working. So anyways, I'm Steve Morris, Steve Tech.
Have a great day.